9 p.m. Christiana Rescue Engine 36 arrives first due on a single wide trailer with smoke showing. Assuming the role of the first arriving engine, an attack hose line is deployed through side alpha and taken directly to the seat of the fire, which is found extending outward from a rear bedroom. On arrival, Rescue Engine 126 assumes the role of the first due special service, making them responsible for providing access for 36's crew, as well as to search the fire floor for trapped victims. Companies working on the exterior provide outside vent work. Ventilation works in conjunction with fire suppression to release heat, make the atmosphere more tenable, and to make an immediate egress point for firefighters working inside. It is discovered that a ruptured natural gas line on the underside of the trailer has extended upward through the floor and into the bedroom. Utilities are controlled and an engine company from the Aetna Hose Hook and Ladder Company bring a hose line to side Bravo to extinguish the remaining fire on the underside of the trailer. Interior and exterior companies expose all potential areas of fire extension following the rule that overhaul is only complete when the entire area has been exposed until it is clean and unburned and then wet down. With the fire extinguished, Captain Jack McPartland speaks for a moment regarding the fire.
Edge of three arrived and laid out from the corner down the street. They put one inch and three quarter line in service. The second new engine, which was engine 32, placed a second line in service. 12-6 arrived at a rescue engine and went in service as a special service. Search in the building, open it up to check in uh, the utilities. Fire originated in the bottom of the trailer, extended up into the rear bedroom. Fellas went in, got a good knock on it. Searches were all negative and complete. Life goes on.